See, just like Tina, I'm just one person, but I'm grown and I can defend myself properly. There's a saying called, pick on someone your own size. I may be small physically, but when it comes to attacking verbally, I can hold my own. And so instead of attacking someone who really does not have the tools to defend herself verbally, attack someone who can. I want to start off by saying this before anyone comments I didn't want to do this video only because a lot of you already know that there have been issues between me and these youtubers that I'm going to speak about but I have morals and values and that is always gonna overpower my relationship with anybody I've always fought against bullying it's one thing to be a bully it's another to just sit there and watch you're just as bad and I'm not that person that's gonna sit back and watch it all go down as a teenager in school I always interfere when I saw some form of bullying. As an adult, I do the same thing. So let's talk on this. Shamika and Tamika TV collabed with Royalties World on a video speaking on Tina Bando's tattoos that she posted. Tina, who is Queen Naja's sister, posted a picture showing off her tattoos of her nephews on her wrists. And there was a lot of people bashing her for it. Y'all know <laughs> I'm one of the many who was not okay with Tina bashing her sister all over the internet. The way she approached it was horrible. The words she used was horrible. The reason behind it was horrible. It was just very toxic. So this is something that I agree on when it comes to Shamika and Neek's thoughts on it. But with the tattoo, I think you guys are doing a bit too much. You guys are making it deeper than what it is. By the end of the day, those are her nephews. Those are her family members that she loves dearly regardless of all the drama. Y'all know you have been through some drama with your family members. It's always a roller coaster ride, ups and downs. But having tattoos of your nephews on your body, I see nothing wrong with it. I don't find it as a gesture. This is where I disagree with them on. But regardless of my thoughts on it, I don't like how they approached the situation. And let me explain. I am still subscribed to these YouTubers that don't like me, okay? <laughs> I still support them in some way. But when I was scrolling down my subscriptions, I was like, what the fuck? The thumbnail, the title, I was like, oh no. I was thinking to myself, what are you guys doing? Are you guys really gonna talk on Tina after you guys have some form of relationship with that family? Both Nick and Tamika have been in Clarence's home, around Queen Nyjah, around Clarence's friends and family, and Nick herself has been around Tina and her mom. Tamika has been in conversations with Tina about her family issues. You guys formed some type of relationship. Not necessarily a close one, but something. More than your usual YouTuber. More than your usual reaction channel. See, this is the thing. You're over here messaging Tina on some personal shit about family business that you should not be personally involved in. But you got involved. And now here you are, sitting on a couch, making a video, bashing this 19-year-old girl. Listen, let me tell you something. All four of these women are in their 30s, sitting on a couch, bashing a 19-year-old girl who still has a lot of growth to do. We all know she's fucking up. We all know she's making bad decisions. We all have been there. The difference here is everything is on social media now. Back then, in our times, it wasn't like that. We're able to hide our past if we want to. Tina can't do that, everything's out. So when I see these women sitting on a couch bashing this girl, like, my God. This is what I was thinking when I saw the thumbnail and the title. I was like, what the fuck are they doing? So I had to watch the video because I can't just go off of assumptions. So when Tamika started the video, I was like, okay. It might not be what I think it is. Before we even get to this video, you know, I don't really wanna focus on the the, the characters, I want to focus on the situation because I want to have a conversation down here in these comments. Yeah, that's how she started the video, but then as you keep watching, they are talking about the characters and the players of the story. Tina, Tina Bando. Give her a phone call, like, would have been good enough not doing a tattoo. Like, I feel like that was just kind of extreme if you were trying to get some attention or... They, they use a, a lot of things that the internet use on Queen towards her because the, um, the, the tattoo of CJ was bitter. You know what I mean? The legend. There so, go. so in like, the comments, it's like, oh, so you love CJ more. And, and, and you let legend keep his hair. Why you cut CJ hair? Oh, not, not even knowing that CJ wanted his hair cut. Oh, oh, 
Oh, Y'all were bashing this girl for no fucking reason because she got tattoos of her nephews. That's her family. I wish somebody would tell me, listen, I got a tattoo of my best friend right here, tattoo of my cousin right here, tattoo of my parents right here, and I've had issues with my best friend. I had issues with my cousin. I dare any of you motherfuckers tell me that I'm not allowed to put that shit on me. That's a gesture. Get out of here with that. All right, now, we're gonna back away from these names, these characters, these players. It's too late. You guys already talked about the players and the characters and the story. And you guys did not expect for Tina to react? Or maybe you did. Maybe you did, because y'all know how Tina is. She goes off emotion. She doesn't think twice. She's impulsive. And she's young. So this is what she had to say in her video. Nick, the reason why I stopped messing with you in the first place was because Lee told me that you was money hungry. She caught you in New York looking at Clarence Analytics and his MacBook trying to see how much he made. And you gave, that's giving me, that's giving poor vibes. It's giving me poor. Because why are you in his analytics looking to see how much he made? So that's why I stopped hanging out with you. And then I was seeing a little bit of red flags when we was hanging out. You know, it was everything. It was about YouTube. You know, you give you gave me type of vibes as you were trying to get put on. Like, and I wasn't finna put you on, baby. So it's, I stopped hanging out with you. That's what Lee said. And then also, she said that you flew down there when you was with your old girlfriend. You flew down there and you tried to piggyback and stay the night at their house. And she dropped you off at the airport. She said that you didn't have no money. And Nick, I don't even know, t to be honest, you, you need to watch who you defend. Because the, the same ones you talking about, they talked about you behind your back. And that's why, to be honest, you the little situation you had in New York looking at people's stuff, I backed away from you because I didn't want you looking at our analytics trying to be Miss Snooty Pooty. Now with all the jabs that Tina was doing in that video, this is the thing. After seeing her bashing her sister, Clarence, Lee, I've noticed something. This girl does not completely lie. There's a little bit of truth in everything that she says, but she does exaggerate and extend the truth a little bit too far to favor her points. I get that, but there's still a little bit of truth. So in the things that she's saying in this video, I do believe a little bit of it. It's not so far-fetched. I peeped something with you, Tamika, because when all that stuff was going on, when you lied and said that you um, only was with Queen one time, you hopped up, you, you stopped making reaction videos. You stopped, re I'ma just react to it. You got scared, because people was catching you up, and not only that, you didn't tell the fans that Sandra threw you a birthday party, but you told us. So, I mean, don't even get on here and try to sit up here and, and cat like, you know, you get slowly get back on the scenes and think you finna uh, attack me. No, you not. I know it's parts deep down that you agree with me with, but you just cut them out because you didn't want them to see your reaction because you was on their payroll. You only flew down there to get close with them so you can build up a following because, I, I mean, you think I don't peep that? You be cutting out parts and reactions and stuff because you feel like, oh, dang, she is right, but I don't want Lee and them. I, I already know. I'm not dumb. Then when I was texting you, you know, about uh, the stuff that people were saying that about about the Sunny situation, I'm just finna air stuff out, man, and this and that, all getting all hostile, getting upset. You told me on the phone that you ain't, uh, you wasn't cool with Lee no more because she was trying to hold some information. Uh, she was trying to hold some information from Queen, and you said that you didn't agree with that. You didn't tell us what it was, but that's what you had said. I mean, you could be lying. I don't know. Tina will kick you while you're down on the ground. I get that. Her approach is horrible. It's not right. It's not okay. But what do you expect from a 19-year-old responding to four women in their 30s bashing her? I would look at it differently if Tamika made a solo video reacting to that or if Neek made a solo video reacting to that picture of the tattoos. But they all came together. That to me looks like a group of people jumping one person. If you have to fight, fight, but do it one on one. And after Tina made that video, of course these women are going to respond. Now when I watched Tamika's response to Tina, it was mature. Okay, I will give her credit for that. There wasn't much bashing in there. But if you look at her body language and her tone, she's upset. <laughs> what did you expect? What did you expect when you made that video? Initially. Don't get offended when people say you're doing dumb shit. You do dumb shit. 
Tamika, you are the last one to be speaking on that. Please do not give off hypocrisy. Tamika DM'd me when I reacted to one of her videos. We gained a professional relationship. It was more of a supporting type of thing, supporting each other, and that's all it was. We never went to a personal conversation. And when I was speaking on Queen Nyjah and Tina and Clarence, that whole drama, I followed the story from the very beginning. When she came out of left field, I did not know she was gonna come into the story. I definitely reacted to it. That's what I do, I'm a reaction channel. And you and I do not have a close relationship or bond to where I owe you some form of loyalty. But out of respect, I still DM'd you and let you know that I had to speak on the situation because you got involved. <laughs> You got involved in another family's problems on a personal level. She said she understood. And when I went live, all of a sudden it was a big problem. And I didn't even drag the girl like that. But her feelings were hurt in some way. And this is when she left this comment. You guys can go ahead and pause the video and read all that. But she left it on my video. She felt that I should have asked her if I could do that as if I needed her permission when I don't. I'm a grown ass woman, this is my channel, I don't know you on a personal level, and I've never met you. No way in hell do I need your permission. And then Neek, Neek was the worst. She did a two hour stream reacting to Tina's video, and she was really in her feelings. She let this little girl get to her, and then she started hitting below the belt. In that two hours of bashing that Neek did, compare what Tina says to what Neek says. The girlfriends, they just look stupid sitting in the video. Mm. I mean, don't, don't nobody really know them. I mean, I know Neek's last girlfriend or whatever. I wonder where she went. But I mean, hey. We broke up like you and your last girlfriend. But when that boyfriend gonna pop out, so? When that boyfriend gonna pop out? Cause you not gay no more. She ain't gay. Take it off me. It don't belong to me. I ain't gay no more. Where that shit at? Where your man at, Tina? God, you took this video way too serious. Where's your man? I can't wait to see him. Y'all standing beside each other and shit. Both of y'all dressed alike. Period. He dressed like the boy. You dress like the boy. I can't wait to see you with your new nigga, bitch. I can't wait. It's like they're fighting the same person, except Tina's 19, no life experiences. Nick is in her 30s with life experiences. Yet, this is how she decides to defend herself. I mean, I really don't need to say too much. Neek herself says that she is immature, and from what it sounds like, she's very proud of it. So if she is self-aware and she chooses not to work on that, she's always gonna come across situations like these. Neek really went in on this video. She really put her passion into talking shit, which surprises me a little bit because she had an issue with me in the past, reacting to the drama that she had between her and her girlfriend when they broke up. See, what you new subscribers don't know, she reacted to one of my videos with me and my ex-wife in it. That's how we got in contact. We talked briefly, kept it professional. You have a sub count at the time of 150,000 subs. I watched your video, so I'm going to react to the breakup. You took a screenshot of my thumbnail and added my voice in your documentary. <laughs> Do y'all see me there? Yes, I was one of those people that posted a video on Royalty's World versus J-Vibes. You see me right there in the bottom. Now what you're about to hear is my voice. It's actually from one of my reaction videos. If, if you, I believe Nick is 30 now. If you're at age 30 and you still don't have a place to come home, there's something wrong with that. And then you spoke on what I said again in another video. Let's go ahead and jump right to it. And we're going to see what she had to say about it. Again. <laughs> um, I want to say something that, uh, you know, somebody made a statement. I'm going to say... That somebody is me. My name is Bliss. You can say it. It's okay. Do you like how she's like, somebody. Somebody. <laughs> Let's watch that again, shall we? I want to say something that, uh... You know, somebody made a statement. I'm gonna say <laughs> something that somebody made a comment about um, me. That when you're 30 years old, if you don't have a place to stay, if you don't have a place you can call home, that is a problem. By the way, that comment of mine, 
she took it out of context. And I explain it all in that video if you guys really want to look into it. I'm not going to explain myself again. So you drop these subliminal messages without saying my name, of course, because you don't want me to get clout when this is not what I do YouTube for. This is a hobby of mine. It's not my career. I don't need your clout. <laughs> I don't need it. So you barely talked on me, but you felt a certain type of way to add me to your documentary and add me to your apartment tour video. But when it came to Tina, you had so much to say. Now, the only difference between Tina and I is that Tina never spoke on you. <laughs> I did, but I have a feeling that you're speaking on her because of her family's big following. Because if I had the same following as her, I'm pretty sure you would have said a lot more. Y'all the ones who worship other people. Y'all the only ones that get gleamful and happy inside when y'all see another YouTuber and I look at them that like they're just human. Do I think you guys are worshipers? No, I do not think so. But I do believe that y'all do kiss ass. And Tamika is a great example of it. See, what y'all don't know is that while her and I were messaging behind the scenes, we kept it professional until Easy from Easy and Natalie subliminally talked on me, bashing me all over Instagram on a live video. Someone who has over a million followers on her social media platforms is talking about little old me. But I ain't in my DMs messaging other YouTubers like, hey, did you see this? Like, oh, look, look. No! <laughs> I already have something going on in my head. I already know what I'm about to do to react and to respond. But here goes Tamika messaging me. Hey, Izzy's talking about you. Girl, I know that. <laughs> Why are you instigating shit? Why are you coming to me, talking to me about this? I didn't have an issue with Tamika. I actually liked her. She seemed like a cool person until that point. When I saw that message, I knew not to trust her. She gets too involved in things that she shouldn't be in. But I kept on the conversation and what y'all don't know about those DMs. She helped me with a certain something when I responded to Easy on a video. And I'm not going to say what it was because I did tell her in those messages that I was not gonna let anyone know this. She said she was cool with it. And I'm so not gonna show you guys the messages. If she says anything to discredit what I'm saying because I'm an honest motherfucking person and if she ever portrays me to be a liar I will leak the messages but as of right now there's no need for it so I'm like okay whatever I, I have her support in making this video drop the video and then easy goes on live again talking her shit <laughs> all of a sudden I see Tamika on Instagram live and easy joined the video now I am NOT a hater I'm all for youtubers climbing up the ladder do what you guys to do but I have morals I will not kiss ass for anything and if you see that live Tamika was kissing ass <laughs> oh shit baby what's poppin bro, bro what do you do what do you do what do you do bro <laughs> Yo, dog, did you get my message on your DM? Nah, what you say? Check your DM today, dog. You gotta check your DM. I know you don't ever check that shit. Man, nah. look, 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 look. Look who that is. Look. Who that is? Look who that is. I can't see. You put your, bring your head when I put them damn glasses on. You gotta put them damn glasses on like she said. You don't see that that's your ear? Oh! <laughs> And you know what's so funny about that whole thing? I still didn't hold it against her. Do your thing, girl. Do your thing. But after that conversation, she stopped talking to me in the DMs. And if she did, it was a couple words here and there. I knew the reason behind it. And I still didn't talk on it. I still did not talk on it on video. But these were examples of a kiss ass. I don't trust these YouTubers. Neek, Tamika, y'all are something else. And this is all about... Tina getting tattoos of her nephews. Y'all started something that was unnecessary. Listen, if I get any heat from this, it is what it is, I'm used to it. They've all bashed me before, so this ain't nothing new to me. That being said, y'all already know I'm uncensored, and so are the comments below. So go ahead and leave your comments, whether that's positive, whether that's negative, whether that's for me or against me, y'all go ahead and leave those comments. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share my video. I'ma have to let y'all go. <laughs> See you in the next video. Peace.